digital romance TV. Hey, how's it going? It's Michael Fiore from Digital Romance TV, along with Nora, giving you heartbreaking advice today. Heartbreaking Heart advice. Break, literally, we're going to teach you how to break hearts, either your own or someone else's, because we're going to answer the question... How to know when to break up. Good question. So most people I know, by the way, they, they, they kind of figure this thing out. They figure out, man, we should have really broken up a year before we did, right? Almost a year. Or sometimes two. Yeah. Honestly, because people will be sitting there and they'll be like, I really knew it was over at this point. Right. But I kind of kept it going. For whatever reason. Yeah. And I will say there's a difference between breaking up from a uh, relationship and breaking up from a marriage. Absolutely. It's going to be totally different kinds of things. When you've gotten married to somebody, you've actually made a commitment. There might be children. There's common property. And in that case, you give it a bit more rope. You kind of hope, okay, even if this year sucks, hopefully next year is going to be Right. Okay. And that's, I mean, that's the whole, the the reasons for people get married yes. is that it's it's a commitment that is stronger and more stable than just dating or living with somebody is that you've made this life-altering yeah. decision to stay together. But I would say this, you know when it's time to break up when consistently for a significant amount of time you dread seeing the person or dread spending time sure. with them. Um, somebody or, explained yeah. it to me thusly, which was the tipping point for me, which was um, they said about their own separation, I came to the point where I realized that there was more bad time than good. The, yeah. the bad was outweighing the good. When you sit down and you actually look at your life, the bad feelings and all of the bad days and all of the bad stuff that's happening is outweighing those moments that keep you going. And there might, you might, and here's the real thing. If you can't remember the last time you had good, yeah. it's time to break up. Yeah. And that happens to a lot of people because the human mind, the way it works, is we really tend to focus on whatever's top of mind, whatever is right in front of us. Um, it's really hard for us to imagine the person we originally fell in love with. Just like it's, you know, when people are dying, oftentimes they say, I want you to remember me like I was, not how I am now. Because people really will remember that really sick version yep. as the person. We all think of Elvis as kind of fat at this point. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Um, but again, if you just can't remember the good or the last time you had good, if you can't remember why you got together, if when you tell the story to somebody about how you and your partner met, it's a negative story, it's t time to go at that point. Because once upon a time, that was a positive story. Once upon a time, it was a funny story. It was enjoyable and it made your heart get really excited. Okay. If you tell that story now and it's like we met at a bar or something like that, it's time to get out. Anything else to add? I think that's, that sums it up. Yeah, so after we've broken your heart, there you go. But you're going to need somebody else in your life, aren't you? And we have all sorts of advice on how to do that, how to sure attract do. the perfect man or woman into your life. So do us a favor. First, leave a comment down below uh, if you have other ways to know when to uh, end something. And then go over to digitalromanceinc.com where you'll get thousands of articles teaching you how to be a uh, dating ninja. And you can listen to our podcast that we do every week and also you can hear do. us. Yep. Without giving, this part. Answering actual questions from listeners. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Okay, bye-bye. If you've got a cell phone in your pocket or purse right now, then you've got everything you need to create incredible romance and passion with the man or woman in your life at the push of a button. Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash TRB to see Michael Fiore make an entire audience of women on The Rachel Ray Show swoon and learn how to use tiny little text messages to have the relationship of your dreams.